Hello. In this guide I will tell you how an article is self-archived to Tuhat Research portal. The same information with pictures can be found in our open access guide and here is the address. Alright then. Let us start with adding information of the article to Tuhat. Fill in the information to the Tuhat form. Remember to add the article's field of science. Start the article upload from Open Access and other versions, files, DOI and links, at file or self-archive. You can find more instructions behind the I button. Note that University of Helsinki requires that articles published in Open Access journals are archived as well. At this point we need to stop for a moment, however. We need to consider the self-archiving rights of the article in question. Publishers' conditions for self-archiving can be found in Sherpa Roma database in this address. Or from the webpage of a journal or a publisher, in case of book articles, often under open access. If you have not signed off your publishing rights to the publisher, you can self-archive without restrictions, following the publisher's conditions. Make sure you have the permission of all the writers to self-archive the article. Check which article version you are archiving. You can see the table in our open access guide. The postprint version of the article often involves an embargo set by the publisher, for example, 12 months. In that case, the article transforms automatically from Tuhat to Helda once the embargo is over. There may be other restrictions in the Sherpa database, for example, a requirement to use certain license for the archived article. Let us look at an example. The open access version of the article, article processing charge paid, has to be archived without an embargo with CCBY license. The postprint or auto-accepted uh, version or final draft version, which is the draft version after peer review, also called accepted version in the Sherpa.Roma database, has to be archived with CCBY license and with 18 months embargo. The same version can be published in author's own homepage without restrictions. Explanations to the symbols in Sherpa Romeo can be found in this address. After this short excursion, we can return to the self-archiving process itself. We were in Tuhat form in point open access and other versions, files, DOI and links, at file or self-archive. Let us continue by clicking add file or self-archiving. The opening form looks like this. Upload the article in PDF format. When the article is uploaded, define public access to the file. The information concerning article version and public access is compulsory to add. First choose the article version, submit it, accept it, final or preprint, postprint publisher's version. If the article is immediately readable, choose open in access to electronic version. However, if the publisher requires an embargo, for example, 12 months from the publication date, choose in access to electronic version embargoed and set the publication date and the embargo time as announced in the Sherpa Romeo database. The publication is transferred automatically to the Helda repository once the library has accepted or the embargo is over. You can uh, see the publication date in the visible on portal date. You can also select license to the publication. In general, the University of Helsinki recommends CCBY license for sharing publications unless there are other requirements by the publisher. See our license guide for recommendations and more information. Now the article is self-archived to Tuhat. However, this is not quite sufficient. It is worthwhile to add the personal identifier DOI to Tuhat so one can, paywall allowing, see the final published article. This is useful in cases, for example, where the embargo prevents seeing the draft version. This is done as follows. Choose again Open Access and other versions, files, DOI and links, add file or self-archiving. And choose either add DOI or, or add other link to file. When you choose add DOI, the following form opens. Add the DOI then fire without prefix, and here are some examples. For article version, choose final published version. If the question is of an open access article, choose in public access to file, open, if not, choose closed. If the article is published with a Creative Commons license, most open access articles are, choose the used license. 
Finally, press Create. When you add a link to the file without a DOI identifier, choose Add link to the file, add the link with the HTTPS prefix and do as above after that. You can do it the same way if your article is an open access book or if your article is already archived to the Helda repository with the handle identifier. The final self-archiving form looks like this. Congratulations! In our example, the draft version is given an embargo and licensed according to the publisher's instructions. When the embargo ends, the article transforms to Helda open repository automatically.